Good morning. Well, hopefully by now you've watched my walk round of the outside of the Toyota Alphard camper van, which I've recently purchased. And now, yes, I'm inside, inside of the Toyota Alphard camper van limousine. And I'm sitting on the rear bench seat. As you can see, there is uh, a reasonable amount of space. And this bench seat will shortly fold down, electrically fold down, into a, well, it's not exactly a double bed. It's a little bit more than a single, and it's a little bit less than a double. So how can I put this delicately? If you are a couple and both of you are slim, then you could sleep together. If you are a couple and both of you are, shall we say, on the large side, you might struggle. If one of you is large and one of you is small, then you might be reasonably comfortable. And if you are either of an age or of a temperament or even of an ability, shall we say, that you're going to spend most of the night uh, lying on top of each other, then there is enough room on the rock and roll bed and there is room for some serious rock and rolling but i'm not necessarily convinced that it's a bed for two people but for one person and i'm thinking moi of course if i was to go out in this camper van with my bicycle attached to the bike rack on the tow bar and i decided to wild camp or stealth camp or just camp um, then I think I could have a pretty enjoyable night on my own sleeping on this not quite double bed. Uh, what else can you see here? You can see a bit of a cupboard here with what they call a timbre door and there is some pretty decent space inside. I've watched a few of these videos mostly done by uh, camper van conversion companies and when you show when they show you the cupboards what they tend to do is is go oh, oh see look there was a cupboard there and you think i didn't quite see that i didn't quite see if that was a big cupboard or not and they just go oh, there's a cupboard and you say, no slow down a bit slow down a bit and of course you can't slow down the video so this when julian does it right julian is opening this drawer and you're saying to yourself well, i can't see that drawer julian so let's just move it around Right, I'm just going to pause the video. All right, so here we have a drawer, a clickety drawer. Now, what they'd normally do, right, is they'd go like this and say, Oh, look, there's a drawer there. And you think, I didn't quite see that. So, what Julian does, he's going to open the drawer, and you can see there is a reasonably sized cutlery drawer there. All right, so I'm going to push that back and close it. There's another little drawer here. So, Sorry, not a drawer, a little cupboard. And you can't quite see the light. Can't quite see enough in there. I've got a little portable light here, so let me shine that in there. That, that shows you quite well. So it's a decent space, not a big space, not big enough for sort of saucepans and uh, uh, jacuzzis and stuff like that. But you can get a few bits and pieces in there. We have down here two cupboards and let's just open up or rather a cupboard with two doors now this one on the side here is a gas locker i'll just show you in there i have bought a gas bottle which i haven't put in yet and there's a decent space under there and what they say is there's room under there for a toilet or a uh, porta potty but uh, I'm not sure that uh, if I had the hang on just trying to get a bit of bit of wide angle for you there I'm not sure that if I had a porta potty under there I'd necessarily manage to get my sort of ass into that space so I could sit on the toilet so I think what they mean is the porta potty lives in there but then when you go to use it, you take it out. I think that's probably more likely, isn't it? So I'm just closing up these cupboard doors. There you can see a fridge. All right, and there's the 
decent sized fridge I'm, I'm not quite sure how many liters is is but it's it's a reasonably sized little camper van fridge so i'm not going to complain too much about that moving around here we have the uh what do we have just a minute just trying to get a bit of wide angle let me just pause it there we are. i've got a bit of wide angle there so i'll lift up this glass lid there and you can see we have a two burner hob lift up this glass lid here and there is a sink with a tap uh, the water bottle lives uh, behind or, or underneath whatever I don't think I haven't filled it up with water uh, just looking up above here we have here a little little shelf space not massive space but it's all useful stuff and moving around here you can see a reading lamp that's quite pleasant we're just going to look up at the the ceiling and these kind of bed boards when the um pop top roof is pop topped in other words it's opened uh, then they do say that somebody could sleep up there i'm not sure that anybody more than a a child or a a short slim person was going to be able to sleep up there comfortably but i suppose you never know that's my uh, video light there and just moving around i'm just moving away off the bench seat myself so you can get a better view of it like that i won't just operate the rock and roll bed but basically this folds down electrically to create the bed that i was talking about there's another um, reading light light there another light here so we've got some decent lighting in the vehicle I'm just sitting myself back down here on the bench seat and you're looking towards the front of the vehicle uh, this table here now there are two places you can affix this table one is to this rail here and one is to this rail here and I've just discovered actually that the table does not fit here on this roll rail because the brackets are too wide so that's something I'll be speaking to uh, Imperial Leisure Vehicles about so I think sorry this is a, a kind of power you've got two twin USB sockets here you've got a, a 9 volt or is it 12 volt socket here not sure which and here you've got a three pin plug socket and here you've got lighting switches for the vehicle so i think that gives you a pretty good idea of the inside of the toyota alphard uh, i've put a sort of doormat down there where you can see the the cat that's not an actual cat uh, and nor is it the kind of murder outline of a cat that's died right well you caught me there having a little bit of a struggle uh, Martin who sold me the vehicle uh, returned my phone call because I wasn't able to swivel the seat but he's shown me what to do now and you can see the passenger seat is swiveled around uh, facing uh, towards me I'm obviously sitting in the bench seat and there you can see the table in front of me which is on this bracket or on this rail here to the right hand side and uh, that's a, a nice little table not very wide as you can see I mean there's my there's my hand almost covers the width of the table so it's probably about a foot wide something like that but if you're going to uh, you know put a plate of dinner on it or uh, put a laptop on it or something like that perhaps uh, a game of chess I suppose if you're going to play chess you could use half the board if you're going to play Monopoly you could use half the board of Monopoly um, table tennis not sure you'd manage a very successful game of table tennis you might manage tiddlywinks I suppose you might even manage the odd war game um, if you enter what was it called Warhammer 
uh, you could probably get a thousand or so of those little Warhammer soldiers onto here and you could uh, refight some of the great battles if uh, if you're into that um, and that's looking up at the roof line again with the uh, the boards there if you are uh, quite a short person or a young person or a young short person or a short young person then you might manage to um, sleep up there I think if you're a person of, of normal height I mean no, I use the word normal advisedly of course just because you're short doesn't mean you're not normal um, but if you are say uh, six foot something like that um, if you are sleeping with your head towards the back of the van um, then I imagine your kind of ankles and your feet uh, would sort of dangle over the side if you can imagine that my hand here actually is actually a, f a dangling foot and if you uh, were to sleep with your feet facing the back uh, then your your head would kind of dangle like that like a, like a sort of pumpkin in a net which would not necessarily be all that comfortable but anyway these, these are minor these are minor quibbles in what I think actually is a really nice spacious fan Frame was um, I was showing my darling wife the uh, camper van yesterday and then she came and sat in the back and she said oh this is really nice it's really cozy she said I might stay here so uh, uh, I think that could be quite quite enjoyable actually and um, I could show you kind of what's behind uh, the back seat or rather the uh, uh, the bed seat and you can kind of look over there and you can see I suppose there's about a foot a foot and a half something like that width so you could put some sort of bedding stuff down there you couldn't store massive amounts of stuff but uh, you know you could you could store some decent bits of stuff plus there are a couple of um, what do you call them uh, side side pockets here pocket down there so there is a surprising amount of storage I'm gonna have to be careful there's the uh, the outline of the poor murdered murdered cat there if you want to see that in kind of close-up um, you can see the cat was was probably lying face down or lying on its back when it uh, when when it suffered its unfortunate demise and that's looking out the front of the vehicle and there's the swivel seat so that is the interior of the Toyota Alphard which has been converted by uh, Imperial Leisure Vehicles down in Poole in Dorset uh, you can look up all their details on uh, www.alphard.co.uk they're not been, uh, they haven't sponsored me to make this video they're not paying me for make this video they didn't give me a discount on the vehicle uh, I'm just telling you that that's where I got the vehicle from um, I haven't bought a vehicle from anybody else so I can't compare their service or their standard of workmanship but from what I've seen uh, it looks pretty good pretty good stuff pretty high quality workmanship and the customer service has been pretty good so far so got no complaints there so the Toyota Alphard camper van looking forward to a lot more adventures in this vehicle and um, I'm just going to pause the video uh, I was just pausing the video there so I could uh, flip flip the screen or flip the camera as it were and uh, make my closing closing remarks my closing speech uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video if you uh, enjoy my content please uh, like uh, subscribe uh, hit the notification bell so you find out when I make another video whether it's about camper vans or about cycling or about something else who knows you'll just have to wait and see but do do please remember that um, my channel raises money for the Vine Food Bank which is in Croydon in the United Kingdom and therefore every time you sit through one of my videos and watch one of the adverts you are helping to raise money and support people who are less fortunate than ourselves so I'd like to thank you for watching this video and See you next time.